Hello and welcome to our podcast. Today we will be discussing the creation myth of the Pokemon world. Many of us grew up playing the Pokemon games, watching the anime, and collecting the cards, but have you ever wondered about the origins of Pokemon themselves? Well, according to the creation myth, the universe was initially empty and dark, then two beings, Arceus and the original one, came into existence. Arceus is said to be the first Pokemon, and the original one is the primal force of the universe. Arceus created the universe with its thousand arms and then went on to create the three legendary titans, Dialga, Palkia, and Garatina. Dialga is the embodiment of time, Palkia is the embodiment of space, and Garatina is the embodiment of antimatter. These three titans then created the world as we know as the Pokemon world, along with many regions and inhabitants where they're in. They also created the other Pokemon, each with its own unique ability and traits. But why did Arceus create the Pokemon? According to the myth, Arceus created them to serve as guardians of the world to maintain balance and order. Each species of Pokemon was given a specific role to play in the ecosystem, and they worked together to ensure the world remains in harmony. This myth, creation myth is fascinating, and it adds an extra layer of depth to the Pokemon world that we all know and love. It also highlights the importance of balance and harmony in our own world, and how every species has a role to play in maintaining it. So next time you watch a Pokemon ga game, or watch the anime, remember the creation myth and the important role each Pokemon plays in the music. ChatGPT then puts in a outro, saying that's all for today's episodes. It's not, bear in mind, I'm reading this verbatim. This is going to go on for a little longer. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoyed learning about the Pokemon creation myth. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast, Actually, please do that for the more interesting discussions on pop culture and mythology. All right, so what we got here. <laughs> for those who are unaware, I am a, aside from being a gigantic Pokemon nerd, I myself am a software engineer. And, you know, there's, you know, people in my profession were kind of losing our shit justifiably seeing how ChatGPT works. There is a genuine possibility in the future that my profession will be diminished in terms of the amount of people doing it because their programs will be able to just make shit themselves in the next over the next decade. But that remains to be seen. Even so, um, I want to talk about the fact that this ChatGPT has had information fed into it. It is not hooked up to the internet, like to Google or anything. It is, but it ha it has been fed billions of lines of, of of information. It is it has been allowed to surf, you know, the internet, Wikipedia, things of that nature. It is very intelligent, and the and the fact that it was able to get, you know, while this news about Arceus and the creation myth isn't new information, the fact that they were able to present it. In, in a meaningful way that sounds vaguely human is really impressive. I remember I was chit-chatting with um, a, a co a, 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 a associate of mine who basically was writing a paper using on on uh, Trotskyism, which is a left-wing ideology, which is a le which is one of the many branches of you know. Of, of of left of, of leftism like that people fight about but they they wrote they wrote an entire you know medium article on the on the manor and it's it's it was it was stupid <laughs> how crazy it was um the, i i i got to be completely honest with you um chat gpt i'm less it, it's less anxiety inducing now for me and I, there's more things I want to try with it, but, you know, I think that 
AI is 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 going to be something that needs to be heavily regulated and has to have plenty of checks and balances in place. I'm not saying that it can't replace people's work, but we also need to start considering things like UBI, universal housing, and things of that nature, because the days of, you know, having to have a job to have health care and having to have a job to, you know, be able to not be homeless are, I think, are slowly starting to, the, the, those days are slowly starting to end. My generation very well may be the last generation that has to work, to, has to work to have its basic needs met. And I think we as a society need to start looking at you know, the possibility of government housing as not something for just the wor- people who are the worst off, but something that is destigmatized and okay for people to use. Because I think sooner rather than later, we're going to be utilizing that. Certainly me, who my profession might be disappeared in the next 20 years. But what do I know? I'm a 25-year-old dumb fuck with a podcast and a and a high-paying profession. Maybe I'll delude myself into thinking I'm job secure for the next 40 years of my life. That went really well for the baby boomers and Gen Xers. Whatever. Have a good one, everybody.